flank reliant. Something that Snake's team composition is pretty much entirely about. Oh yeah. They've got the Hecker in for big flanks. He doesn't have Ignite. Oh. That's a gallop. <laughs> it was the canter. As Icon's going in, but Tank throws down the ultimate. Emperor's Divide's not enough damage. And SOFM says, yeah, well, I was in the, in the area. May as well pick up a kill. Yeah, since you're fighting, I may as well come mid lane and say hello. Icon had Flash, but he didn't opt into using it. SOFM actually juked the Emperor's Divide, so I do hope we see that one again. A slight little movement to the left as these two are hitting each other again. One more time, SOFM just very angry as he launches on top. The flash comes out. There's no flash for SOFM. Is he still looking for it? Doesn't get hit by the turret. And OMG are collapsing on the horse. He needs to run through the turrets and hope he doesn't die to it. Well, yeah, deadly dead. Flourish comes in. Icon picks up the kill on the way past. And so another on the way past kill to be seen this time for OMG's mid laner. Double he drive by. Over the wall. Wolf they know Spirit. He's there. Yeah, spots him out immediately. He doesn't care. Yeah, still looking for it. Does get onto Icon as the Emperor's Divide flies out. You can see he just launches himself over the top as SOFM's going to die to the turret. Collateral damage comes through. And Xiang, in fact, teleported in to protect his mid laner. That build genuinely designed to do that. Yeah, has those Berserker's Greaves already as this blue buff. Is getting Tank taken down low. Here. Yeah, really scary as Tank does make his way in. Nice double. As Tank, really great positioning. One more auto attack onto five. Is going to get it as there's the flash over from Jay-Z, but he's very low. And Icon is going to make his way through. Martin in trouble as OMG take down the kill. Curtain Call flies in at the same time as Jay-Z tanking up all of it. SOFM makes his way in. But a lot of lane focus here from Snake with warding. It's a lot of pings. Yeah. Tank was out of vision. As there's the captive audience. The ultimate flies through. Five in trouble and gets launched back into Snake. SOFM's going to easily be able to grab that kill. Damage in general. Almost regardless of what form it's in. As the death sentence lands onto Jay-Z, he flashes out. As now Zhuizhui is going to make his way in. The ultimate comes through. The first dodge comes in, but SMLZ nails the second one. Now easily able to lock down the support here for OMG. Yeah, they get the pick once again. OMG's... Thresh is putting in work as these guys are looking for a dive. Yeah, the teleport comes down. Onslaught of Shadows is going to get on the right side of Xiang, but he uses him as a way to get out with the Twisted Advance. Snake now. Clear out the minion wave very quickly. Give away their blue buff to Zhui Zhui. And that's their advance play to try and get the turret and snowball Flandre. So they've got to kill bottom. Martin is now 0-1-1. One, one. But it's not going to amount to enough as... He's stuck on damage control duty. Actually, Whoa. wow. Yeah, arrow underneath the turret here. His tank is going to find Zhui Zhui as well. Nice collapse play from Snake. Yeah, very well done. They didn't actually continue that push on the top side. They got tank to rotate mid. Ekram still jungling and Flandre still controlling and zoning away the Maokai. The presence that they're starting to put elsewhere on this map is amounting to a great detail here from Snake, except that they are still losing that bottom lane quite severely. Yeah. But he is the only Azir that I can recall having this build ever. Yeah. A lot more AP to be seen from him. Well, Arrow going to fly through onto five here as now Zhui Zhui finds Martin, has to flash out of the way as SOFM right on top of SMLZ. Not going to be able to take the Lantern as he throws out the ultimate. SMLZ kiting very well though as now Tank is going to make his way through. Zhui Zhui is going to fall. Nice Icon's heal comes in. out. As Icon does head, head over, Whoa. see what he can actually find is it's a brilliant hook out onto Tank as now Icon, so much he AoE damage, flashes onto Flandre, double kill comes in as the Deadly Flourish locks it down, and OMG go one for three. Yeah, one and for Icon two. did not even pull the trigger on that Azir ultimate, he has the capabilities to do more. As SOFM has a giggle as he goes home. A maniacal giggle. Yeah. And OMG pushing up with a lot of members here in the mid lane. Arrow flies through. We'll follow it. See whether it lands. It is going to find five as Tank snares him up wow. one more time. Gets it with the ultimate. Nice pick. There's now Flandre. They're looking for himself this. himself around it. Yeah, SOFM coming through the back end. Does have the ultimate. Gets SMLZ on the wrong side. Oh as the Emperor's Divide is going to throw SOFM back. Now Snake, the rest Tank. of them collapsing on top. SMLZ getting flandre on the back end of the fight. As the double kill comes in. Shui Shui tagged by Martin. And Snake just turned it all around again. And here's Flandre joins the fight. Xiang cannot do that because he's sitting on the top side without a teleport. And on the back of an Ash Arrow, setting Tank up for a pick. 
Flandre being there to kick the fight off. SOFM just looking to try and take down a turret if he can. Martin's going to be here as well. They do have a minion wave. We'll see how much damage they can actually get down. Hawkshot's so handy in situations like this. They can push their luck. Big teleport flank, though. Yeah, Jay-Z is able to tag up Xiong for now as Martin is going to get singled out. Nice Arcane Smash gets him at the right direction as Tank's going to make his way in. Xiong is the complete focus, takes a lantern, gets himself out. As you can see, oh. the arrow connects onto Zhui Zhui. That is huge as Flandre is looking for it. SOFM's ultimate doesn't do too much as Martin takes tank. down the tank. But look at this AoE from the Lissandra. Five now having to flash away. Oh, Massive Flandre. damage. And Tank picks up another one. Flandre is huge. That's an ace. And Snake may just go to Baron. Tank and Flandre just did so much work in that fight. It kicks off. Oh. Yeah, and Martin as well doing so much AoE damage as here. Xiong once again caught out. Grand Challenge comes in. As Flandre says, yep, we'll take the heal and we'll take the kill. Very easy kill. That's and Martin has a GA as his third item. He knows that all he needs to do is sit back, tag people with his slow, get an arrow at the right time. Oh, yeah. And don't get exploded. He's a cooldown reduction build. He's gone for the Essence Reaver. They've got SOFM with the Trinity Force. They've got a top laner that builds AD. And this feels like it's the recipe of Snake at the moment. Yeah. Does everybody do damage? If they're focusing the weak link, that guy builds a GA. Yeah. <laughs> And we'll pick a carry as we get to the, like past the mid game. It's also a Lissandra that's hard to kill in its own right. SOFM's actually dead. Yeah, a lot of trouble as the Dustblade helps out taking that kill down. The best champion for a Cloud Drake, you could say. Yeah, it wouldn't be far off. Can't think of one that'd be better. Yeah, as Flandre is going to find Xiong one more time. Look at this damage out of the Fiora. Manages to proc his grand challenges. Xiong not going to be able to do anything. It's Jesus. just all too easy. And it's a Bloodthirster build as well. So they push towards the Baron buff and at least get themselves vision. He'll be up by the time it started, but more kills could be nice. Yeah, Curtain Call does fly in as Jay-Z flashes out of the way. Five, looking for the hook, gets Good it. Good hook. Onto the Braum, and Jue is going to have enough damage. Icon delivered the kill. And that is two Swift ones. And actually, Jay-Z not going to be up in time. As it spawns. This is going to come down to SOFM or the perfect flank team fighters. Well, Arrow is going to find Icon here. Deadly Flourish comes in. Nice hook onto SOFM. Does still have the ultimate. Got Will him. need to use it as SMLZ just picks up the kill. And now Tank looking to try and get in there. Massive oh ultimate comes God. in as Flandre is going to launch his way into the back line. The Baron taken from Zhui Zhui, but he's not going to have anyone to use it as Xiong's going to fall down as well. Now Snake looking to try and take the game. And we called it the Tank and Flandre show, and that's exactly how this one winds out to be. Martin's a walking Arrow bot. He just flashed the wall to help, you know, slow people down because that's entirely his purpose right now. Yep. Looks like, based off that flash, they have enough time to end this game, however. And a convincing, essentially 3v5 yeah. is what gives Snake a victory. And that is, like, the first time we've seen a let's just walk in one after the other and have it work because SOFM goes in, dies, does a fair bit of damage and actually clumps up the members of OMG. And then as the pins are sitting there... We get another one that goes in, which is Tank, locks everyone down, throws out his ultimate, and then the cleanup crew comes after that.